Julius Malema, the leader of the EFF, is scheduled to appear at the East London Magistrate's Court in the Eastern Cape on Monday for allegedly discharging the firearm. Malema claims that the staged shooting was a simulation. He claimed it was all part of the celebrations at the moment. The purported incident was widely publicized on social media where he appeared with a gun and allegedly fired numerous shots into the sky. Malema's legal problems do not end there. The National Society of the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals announced last week that it had received numerous public complaints about a film that was spreading on social media sites. According to the National Society of the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, the video, which has gone viral, depicts the deliberate slaughter of an animal at a farm near Magaliesburg. The aforementioned video clearly shows Mr. Malema attempting to pierce or sever the animal's spinal cord in order to kill or mobilize it. According to the National Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, it is clear from the video that Mr. Malema uses two small knives and inflicts more than 100 stars and over 60 instances of twisting the knife into the fully conscious animal's paw. Malema frequently inflicted pain and unnecessary suffering of the animal, according to the National Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, and it is clear that the animal suffered severe anguish. The National Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals has laid criminal charges against Malema in accordance with the Act, following the thorough investigation into the contraventions depicted in the video. The National Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals will collaborate closely with law enforcement and the prosecution authority to ensure a thorough investigation and prosecution of the case, the statements continued. According to the organization, it is critical that individuals who do harm to animals face consequences since this sends a clear message that animal cruelty will not be allowed in our society. In response to the complaints, the EFF spokespersons in our town were stated that we will deal with whatever the organization complaints arise. As of now, our whole focus is on constructing our electoral apparatus in preparation for a total win in 2024.